welcome to our new episode in this episode we will be seeing how we can create a reusable component and the component which we are going to create is an alert okay so many of you might have used bootstrap alert okay so with angular we can create a reusable component okay and sending what we can say same code we are going to use in multiple components okay so we don't have to replicate this kind this kind of html repeatedly okay what we need to do we need to use that reusable component selector and we just need to pass the text which we need to show okay so if you can see this is the normal alert which we get okay we can have a cross button also or it, it can be optional on click of it it will be disappeared okay so same thing and the same logic we are going to implement in a component okay so let's check how we can do it so this is the existing project i'm using okay on click of delete just for a scenario on click of delete we will be showing that alert like user has been deleted and it will go after some time so same thing we are going to achieve with the help of reusable component let's do the code now so this is the project i'm using from my previous videos okay same so i have a widget folder here i will create a component here ng generate component then we will name it as alert let's create it okay so you can see the components are component is created so four file has been created and one has been updated so the app module has been updated because for this component in declaration section we will have a new entry you can see alert component is there okay so what we need to do like we can just copy paste the basic code since I have bootstrap installed already in my projects so I don't have to do that so this is just my normal HTML code okay inside that if you can see this is the let me zoom it a bit you can see this strong message whatever we have here this is going to be the dynamic message which will be coming from our parent component wherever we are using this reusable component so instead of this we can make it as a ng hyphen content okay so this is going to be the place where whatever the text we write in the parent component which we want to display into this alert box it will be displayed okay so this is just like kind of a placeholder to display the message okay apart from that we need like what type of alerts do we need so if you can see we have different number of alerts like with the different classes you can see this is a success i think then alert info warning danger primary okay let's check all the classes alert success mean green okay so we need one input and one output okay so input will be like what type of what type of alert uh what we can say what type of background we need okay and output event will be like to close this because we have a close i close icon here where it goes let's check it okay so on click of it you can see that an alert is getting destroyed so for this we need one output let's check the code so in component let's have an input input output then again we need event emitter so these are the three things which we are going to need first let's create an input at the rate input i think i have missed something let's complete the code so input my variable name will be let's name it as alert type after that it will be of type string okay then second let's create an output on close new event emitter any okay. instead of colon we need equal to. okay so this is the first input where we will receiving the type of the alert second is on close of 
close of uh, close of that icon we will be emitting that in event okay so this whatever the class we get we just need to add it here with ng class okay so this is the first thing then we need event emitter event will be click close so we need to create this event which will be emitting our event emitter this dot on close dot emit we don't need to send any data because we are we are just performing an operation okay so if you want to send data you can send it here and that same data you can get in your parent component also okay but in this scenario we don't need that so we can avoid that okay. so our reusable component is ready just with with one input and the one output okay so we have to use this selector as i have told you like this is the component i have user list let's go into that okay so on the top of it or let's say on the card then we have one input that is of name type type is equal to so we have to pass the string so i have used double equal double quotes then single quotes to pass the string so what options do we have let's make it as alert warning let's use the text let's save it so you can see we have our reusable component with the close icon but now with this no operation will be there because we haven't done anything okay so let's check what we can do okay so here we need to catch that event that event name is on close after that our local function on alert close we have to create this function as well i'm creating at the end okay so we need one variable that will be responsible to show and hide that alert box means our reusable component is alert its type will be boolean let's declare with false this dot is equal to false let's create another method which will trigger on alert open maybe we will make it true and where we on click of delete as we have discussed like on click of delete we will show that alert pop-up like user has been deleted okay I will call this method this dot okay let's check it now okay so i'm deleting last record okay one more thing we have remember we didn't applied this boolean flag on our selector so this is our selector we can use star ng if directive to make it hide and show based on this flag so initially it is not visible once i am clicking on delete you can say this flag is visible if i am click clicking on this close you can see it is hidden okay so what we have discussed like it will be visible for some time after that it will be automatically done we don't need to explicitly close that okay so let's check how we can do that okay so this is the thing where we are calling our I mean we are where we are uh, showing our alert box okay after this we can use set timeout let me remember set timeout then we have round bracket then round bracket okay after that our second parameter like with uh, let's wait for 
three second and again we need to call this function this dot close alert okay so whenever we are deleting the record first this function will be triggered so that alert will be visible after time after three millisecond we are calling this function so alert will be automatically hidden so let's check our code so we have last record i'm clicking on delete so you can see alert box is visible after three seconds it is automatically hidden okay so this is just a basic and a simple example okay the new thing is here like we have used ng content in html okay so this is the projected state okay here we'll be rendering whatever the html we write over here inside this selector so this is going to be rendered over there okay so ng content you can explain like how what someone will ask you like what are the ways we use ng content so this is also a way how we use ng content okay suppose you have a reusable component inside that you want to send the html that will be printed in reusable component so you have to assign a place with ng content and then you can send the html from your parent component okay so you can find this code because it's not that much some fancy code it is just a straightforward code so you can just write by yourself also but just to clear the basic idea i have made this video but still it will be uh, it will be available on my github account